Rightio, this is the old waste all burner. Made out of an old uh, 45 litre gas can canister. So the only thing this has cost me is 20 bucks. I had to pay for this gas canister here. So what I've done is and welded, cut out these, put the doors on, the hinges, they were removable. Welded a washer in there, <coughs> put the burner in. This is a burner made out of 5, five mil oil pipe. This is a car disc brake. And that's just a surgical stainless steel pan. The reason I'm using that is because it gets a lot hotter quicker and it uh, gasifies the oil faster. I have seen it used with a brake drum, but <coughs> pretty hard to weld if you haven't got the right gear. So all this is dripped, fed with waste oil. So what happens is that once this gets hot, you fill it up with uh, 100 mils of uh, fuel light or kerosene, drop a rag in there to get it going. Once it gets hot, you start dripping the oil in. The oil gets so hot it gasifies into the chamber here and explodes to a point. And she uh, pretty much a good heater for the shed. So I'll uh, put the chimney on, light her up and see how she goes. So this is just a test to see if it's going to work. So I expect it to smoke quite a bit because all this paint will burn off. But she will probably get red hot. Right, about 100 mil of uh, fuel light or whatever. Just to get it going. Right. Now you chuck, close this so the uh, combustion and air mix works. You start to hear a pump now. See the oil start dripping through that pipe in a minute. Down here. Ah, could be a bit of dirt blocking that. Starting the pump now. Clean burning, not a bit of smoke coming out of there, man. I'll show you when she gets cranking. Righty, she's pretty much heating up now. All that paint's burning off. Throwing out some serious heat from a couple of meters away. So, what I'll do is I'll stick a tank outside the shed. This is just a quick setup. Gravity feed dripping in, coming through there. And the reason I've got that still on there, that uh, tap is just, I'm thinking about putting a uh, copper coil coming through, coming down and coming out for hot water at some stage. So that's why I haven't blocked that off. So yeah, she's pretty clean burning. All that smoke's pretty much just from the paint. But I'm pretty happy with it. All I need to do, really do is, I shouldn't be able to see flames in here so, because I haven't finished welding the lip in. Because there should be no air intake coming in there. I've done the side there, part of this. So you can pretty much shut this and should be all sweet ass. So that's new oil burner. Nice warm workshop in the winter. Alrighty, 
had this going and uh, you can see some extreme heat coming in the top chamber here as expected all the paint just blew off it was just man oh, the heat was coming off from three meters back i couldn't get too close to it so whether the uh the burner is it's not that hot but i will get all that paint off because if it's in the shed you don't want that every now and again smoking and stinking the place out so yeah what i'll do is crank it up tonight and i reckon this couldn't see it during the day but i reckon this at night she's going to be amber red we'll test her out right just fired it up again tonight it's only been two minutes she's balls coming in and uh like I said before, you shouldn't see any light around here, around this top chamber. I haven't finished welding the lips in, but we're just doing a test and uh, man, there's some heat coming off it already, so give it 15 minutes. Um, we won't be sitting this close and I expect the uh, top chamber to be glowing amber red. See you soon. Yeah, uh, we weren't too sure if that was going to show on the video, so yeah, I just took a few uh, pictures just to show you. Man, that whole top canister is just glowing red. So she's pretty much a success, so I wouldn't uh, recommend it being unattended <laughs> just because of hot flowing um, oil. It's good enough to keep your yeah, shed warm and working away in your shed while you're there, but yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. There's a lot of things to do, but we'll see how we go in the future. Cheers, guys.